oh that's very zoomed in how's this happened and i'm very shiny we'll, we'll use it as it's, it's just a bit of sun glow at the minute it's not oil now, i was on a call and that call was with dulux which is amazing they asked me to um be part of their virtual event which was about the color trends for next year so 2021 i am obsessed with the color palettes they have come out with let's go and get the book and we'll talk through it together a lot of the color trends are very earthy colors that's what they kind of said having had the year that we've had um a lot of the color tones have been um quite like neutral calming and they wanted to kind of inject some sort of um kind of like brightness and hope so they've got a lot of yellows coming out as well um here we go their color of the year is brave ground which is this really gorgeous it's almost like a mushroom color to me even though it's quite neutral and muted it's still got a lot of color which is really nice i am not i'm kind of dipping my toe into colour a little bit with like the green in the office and stuff but I don't tend to use bright colours like this berry pop um, and like dark blues and stuff I'm very much more like the top spectrum of the palette but I love it it's gorgeous brave ground colour of the year I'm definitely going to be using I think I don't have a lot of <laughs> rooms in the house and I've already kind of like used up my DIY and the house ability so if they're if I have a friend who would like me to do a makeover and they're into that sort of colour I might do it for them but I'm probably going to try it in the bathroom as well but yeah they gave us a couple of little things which is so cute they sent over this cute little canvas which I'm going to be painting something on and I've got a free frame it on my gallery wall I'm going to paint something on there I was thinking of maybe like eucalyptus leaves to tie in with the green gorgeous quality paint brushes and you know me I'm a DIY girl so I'm definitely going to be using these should we do it in an upcoming video together or should we do it in a vlog I don't know we'll see which one we'll see how I do it like I'll probably have to get set up properly if I do it on a on a proper video but I might just do it in a vlog really chilled with you guys one day but yeah some paint brushes and a cute little canvas I was so excited for this part by the way oh my gosh Parker ink quink I didn't know you called it quink maybe it's a mix of quill and ink um but it's a bottle of ink actually i haven't even opened it let's have a look at what it looks like it's just going to be a glass bottle isn't it yeah oh that is so i am going to have this on display are you mad i'm going to put that on display on my <sighs> come in come in charlotte egan's office <laughs> look at that and then we've got this cute little package which has got a calligraphy pen look it's a bamboo calligraphy pen a color calligraphy pen gold tipped Mm, perfect for my office and then um it's got this flat end nib come on don't focus on me flat end nib gorgeous one of the best things they gave us this gorgeous notepad and it has my name on it oh shade it's got my name on it using the i don't know what they're called i want to get one though so um to like to label um, is it a label mate to label one of to label my kitchen jars i want to use those um and it's just a standard notebook but it's really gorgeous so gorgeous it's from papier 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 looks like a french word so they sent over three small tubs of these paints as well one of them is oh i'm getting a phone call yeah it will be the joe malone one has it got a silver top and it's a glass one and it's got a black label yeah i reckon it's pomegranate noir by joe malone and um i think you should definitely get her that because she'll be over the moon with that one bye yeah let's talk about this sofa so i don't even know if i've mentioned this at all apart from a video which probably should be out now and if it's not out now it will be out very very soon um but this is a boucle style sofa i made i don't know whether to call it boucle style or teddy bear sheepskin style obviously it's faux it's just a um blanket from the range it's like a teddy bear blanket from the range but when when it's on the sofa like this it kind of gives boucle vibes uh boucle is like a i don't know i think it's a sheep's wool texture but it's a bit more like bobbly than um teddy bear fleece which is usually like long like kind of like fluffier strips of material i created this i love it it was my navy sofa before um and i've detailed everything in that other video so i won't get into it too much but i genuinely i'm so obsessed with it like i've been chilling on, on here so much the reason i upcy upcycled it was because it was bright navy before beautiful material and color so i've kept that and i have not ruined that at all um but it wasn't going to fit in the room um not it would fit if i was a colorful person so if i had pops of blue and green and i don't know other colors together it would definitely work but just to have a random blue sofa in a green room i think would be a bit strange like for my style anyway so so yeah i changed it to this white one 
it's not temporary because I don't intend on changing it soon but I know it's not a long-term fix because it is just a blanket so and it's getting a lot more traffic than I thought it was going to be this is the new like chill out spot in the house but anyway I think I'm going to go on a walk and I'm going to walk to Starbucks and get myself a Kinder Bueno style white um Oh, white latte thing with hazelnut in it apparently it tastes like you know kinder bueno mm, so excited so i'm going to do that and then um when i come back i don't know what what i'm going to do when i come back but i'll catch you later then i got a knock on the door from dusk dusk is my favorite when it comes to bedding you guys ask about dusk all the time well you ask what is on my bedding or all, all, all the time it's always dusk but they've sent over this um which is a pr package it has been gifted it's my christmas present from them because you guys know that i work with them um started buying their stuff literally like it must have been a year and a half ago now i first saw it in one of my friend's houses when i stayed around when we could do all of those things i stayed around her house and i absolutely fell in love with the bedding i was like where's this from and she told me about it and i just bought went on the website and i bought a bunch of stuff I remember i spent like 150 pounds or something but it was so affordable i like i'd bought like a whole new bedding set with like cushions that i could change up and stuff um and then i just kept buying them since then and then people on instagram love them and then dust reached out and said that they wanted to work with me and i picked a new bedding set um because i genuinely don't think you can have enough of them and considering the quality of their stuff this is 200 thread count uh cotton and it's their mykonos set so it's a you know like the sucker seed texture that you get i've seen a lot of these i actually bought one of these a little while ago from ebay and i'll never knock ebay or amazon or anything like that but the quality just wasn't there i remember i washed it after um the first use and it went really thin and then i kept when i kept washing it obviously on a weekly basis it just went to it just disintegrated and that just went it had to go straight in the bin because it just wasn't it felt horrible as well like when you're sleeping in it, it just didn't feel great I really have learned to appreciate a good quality bed in because you spend like a third of your life in bed why not have a nice mattress nice pillows nice bedding oh i love that thank you so much dust they really don't have to do any of this stuff it's it's so nice of them hello and happy new year hi guys how are we all doing i've been yeah i'm not even gonna say it. i say this all the time i've been so absent blah 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 so yeah i have and i'm sorry but you know it was christmas period we were just enjoying ourselves and whatnot but i thought today i would finally pick up the camera because i've got some bits to do yesterday was a write-off yesterday was the first of january 2020 21 2021 2020 <laughs> that wasn't right was it um <laughs> we're off to a great start <laughs> so one of my thoughts for today is i don't know how the christmas tree has lasted as long as it did as it has it's lasted since uh second week of november or something we had the tree up for seven weeks before christmas and it's been like a week now again so that tree needs to come down because i usually want to take the christmas tree down on boxing day this year was no different but i just don't know i just haven't been in the mood to do it the tree takes up that whole corner oh she is gorgeous though look at her she's stunning and the tree takes up that we've got this big wreath on here a wreath um no a wreath on the door a garland on the mirror some little trees down here and then some like little lanterns and stuff and to be honest i just want to change i just want to get it all refreshed and back out the way um i think it all feels so much bigger and spacious again i'm gonna open some windows as well but i think i'm just gonna put you on a time lapse and take it down because i'm already stressed thinking about having to take this tree down like all of the glass ornaments that are on it are absolutely stunning but i'm gonna have to like individually wrap all of them and i think i counted when i first put the tree up i think there's like well over 100 baubles on there so that's gonna be fun i'm gonna have to take them off wrap them up and then store them i'm gonna put some sort of film on in the background we've been watching so much tv recently we've watched the bridge which is a i think it's like a scandinavian slash is it dutch dutch program really really good in subtitles so you've got to read but i don't mind that sort of stuff and we have thoroughly enjoyed it it's an amazing program we also watched um bridgerton amazing i've watched tiny pretty things amazing um death to 2020 2020 10 why do i keep saying that death to 2020 so good so i need to find something to watch anyway i digress i'm gonna take all of this stuff down and i can't be bothered i actually can't be bothered am i gonna do this today am i gonna do this today really can't be bothered because i have to go into the garage fight past all of the stuff in the garage 
to get the boxes and then put them away. No, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Okay, I'm gonna leave you on a time lapse. I'm gonna take this bad boy down. Peace. Garland's gone from the mirror. How the sitting room's looking, I haven't put the chair back in the corner and let me know what you think because this coffee table, I have finally admitted after a year and a half of having it, is far too big for this room. It is a beautiful coffee table. I don't think I'm gonna sell it. I think I'm gonna put it in storage because in a future home where we have enough space in a living space or like a separate study area or something, I will want a table like this. It is proper marble, it is a really solid piece, but it's just far too big for the room. Like if you look here, it takes over the pretty much the whole floor. So I'm actually thinking, I might try and see if we can go without a coffee table for a while. We do use it, um, but we don't, it's, I don't know, I kind of end up feeling like I just kind of put stuff on there for junk and because it's so big I have to put so much stuff for styling which then also makes the room feel really clunky as well. Also apparently gets used for excess Christmas presents lost underneath the table so I think I'm going to put it in storage and just leave this whole open space open and <laughs> I feel like that's going to be so nice. This corner here, normally we put the chair in this corner and um, the little side table that I bought from TK Maxx, you'll remember a couple of vlog vlogs ago that I did a kind of rearranging of the sitting room and I loved how that looked. However, what I think I'm going to actually do is, I can't wait to clean this whole house, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this console table from this room and I'm going to pop it into the sitting room in that space that I just said um, it was free because it is quite a nice size console table and it will still give me room for styling in the living room and as much as I like symmetrical situations when it comes to decor I actually also really like like a kind of off balance like a, a asymmetrical so I'm going to have the console table on the right and then the situation that's already there on the left oh I'm excited to have the console table in here <laughs> Why am I doing this by myself? Oh, oh, my shin. Okay. Beaut. Oh, that looks good there. That looks so good there. I absolutely love this, I'm not gonna lie. And the fact that it isn't symmetrical isn't bugging me as much as I thought it would. If it can, if it does end up bugging me, we can swap it around. But I love the fact that you can swap things around um, and like get totally different use out of them. And I've never styled a console table like that before and I really, really like it. So that's new. Rob literally said it was really nice as well and he we mentioned that we're gonna get rid of this con coffee table, put it in the garage because it's just too big for this room. And you know what? I wish you could feel how big the room feels now. Like we had the, the Christmas tree over there, then we had the massive chair before and the whole thing always just feels so small because it's all congregated around this huge table. So if we can get rid of that and literally not have a coffee table or we can get rid of it and have a coffee table that's much, much slimmer and maybe the same length or a tad longer. So it's kind of like it elongates the room because it takes your eye down that way. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, who knows, who knows? So there's that. Um, so now I'm thinking I am gonna go into the garage and I'm going to take out that chair that I've got in there take out the chair pop that mirror into storage I need to wrap it so it doesn't break or anything but pop the chair there and then the little table side table that we've got with it and the basket and then this will be a whole new little nook thing oh my god I'm really happy with how this has worked out right let me go and get all of the bits <laughs> this bloody chair look how intruding this chair is Oh gosh, right, I think I think that chair's gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to sell it. I'm gonna have to sell, I'm really sad, I don't wanna sell it. It's one of my favorite chairs ever. 
do you know what i'm gonna have to sell this and i know full well when we move into a future home i'm gonna be like i wish i had that chair and have to buy it again yeah i think i think we're gonna have to sell this i still love my dining table so much i think if we sell this we can perhaps have some of that really gorgeous pampas grass just over in this corner and then i've got the smaller cane chair that i upcycled with a boucle um chair back as well and that can live there instead i think that's a much much better idea i'm going to leave this here for tonight and tackle it tomorrow but i'm so i'm just this chair is just too much. I'm overwhelmed. But yes, I have, look at my little nose. It always goes so red when I go outside. I've just done a clean of the garage. It feels so much better. Before when you used to why did I sound like bag of chips there it feels so much better it feels so much better like when you open up the garage door it actually allows you to walk through now whereas before it just wasn't I'm loving the new console by the way I feel like that is a very that is a very good vibe like look at all this open room we never used to really have this before before I had a console table there and then the chair no sometimes right this is I'm probably talking to a lot of you right now when I say this if you do not need it let it go <laughs> let it go because some of us me included apparently sometimes because we have something or because it is apparently worth value a certain value or because we like it we keep it when it doesn't really fit our decor our spaces we need to definitely be better at um buying i i do but i'm pretty sure some of you do as well I need to be better at buying pieces for our rooms that actually fit fit the rooms <laughs> measurements and dimensions and don't make them feel so tiny and cluttered cluttered is a very very important word here i hate the feeling of clutteredness which is why i'm surprised that coffee tables lasted so long but it's because it's gorgeous and this is why i've held on to those pieces for so long because that coffee table and that chair they are so freaking big they are so freaking big but i love them and i know in a future future house i'm going to have a space where i need a huge coffee table that measures one meter by one meter and i'm going to need a huge armchair that someone can sit in in the corner of the room and feel cozy or like that i can use as a as an extra side of conversational chairs but ugh, that time isn't isn't going to come now and you know what i like to think as well sometimes if you let go if you let things go you allow room to let things enter your life that is something that i am really trying to be better at um i think when things have got like a, a monetary value to them i am a little bit more inclined to partner with them but the same the same stance stances <laughs> we still need to like not have rubbish in the house so um i feel so much better that that console table's there now it looks really good it looks so good morning my loves oh <laughs> That was very impactful. It is nearly 12 o'clock, but I have been up and I've gotten washed and I've been doing some admin this morning. I just got a knock on the door and it is my glossy box. So um, I actually had a little sneaky peek. I cannot help myself. I'm not one of these people that can leave a parcel just to sit there and me not know what's inside. I have to know what's inside. So I think I've got a code. If I can find it, I'll put it on the screen. I had opened it and then I was like, actually, I'm going to put this on the vlog because the girls need to know and what have we got first okay first of all you get this little thing and i like it because it tells you what you get so let's pick out the first thing this is the this is the daily concepts full size daily reusable rounds i've had some of these before but these are eco-friendly ways of using cotton wool pads or and they these are really soft but the only thing is with these you need to have quite a few of them because i do use like quite a lot when taking my makeup off so this is the mud mask -y dark eyes reduces dark eyes puffiness fine right <laughs> fine wrinkles dry skin and swelling and it looks like this and this isn't listed on here so i'm not sure why it's in here a little freebie okay now this looks fun saint lux this looks very lux saint lux brow gel these you can buy for seven pounds usually the mud mask isn't listed but i'm assuming that's probably at least 10 pounds saint lux beauty brow gel is 16 pounds oh it's clear that's good um i've had this before and i love it this is the moisturizing serum by who is this by by e-cooking and it's a mini but this lasted me a little while i'm not gonna lie looks like this and i like it because it's got this little pump container 
um, very small so you can bring it with you if you're going to like hotels and traveling and stuff appreciate stuff like that love stuff like that um and that mini is worth 22.50 but you can get a full price one a full size one for 45 pounds damn that stuff's good i remember when i used that i was thinking this stuff's really good so that's why it's spenny oh yes this is always always welcomed a hand sanitizer gel uh full size this is normally two pounds 72 <laughs> it's random that's actually a really good price for this i like that and it's in like it feels really cool and it's in like a metal contain like a, a foil container it gets rid of 99.9 percent .9 of germs and actually moisturizes your skin by an increase of 34%. And then the final little one, I love getting a sheet mask. If I don't get a sheet mask in my beauty boxes, I'm always like, meh. <laughs> well, I'm not really, but I love them. So this is the Avocado by Beauty Pro, full size. This is five pounds normally, and it's got avocado infused. Avocado is naturally enriching and moisturizing. You leave it on for 15 minutes, perfection. Yay, I've got another mask. I'm gonna drag Robin to do a a face mask night with me about 10 or 55 so you get at least 60 pounds worth of stuff in there for a, a sixth of the price pretty much i was saying to rob yesterday i really want to cut down on my unnecessary like subscriptions and everything that i do every month and basically spending a random amounts of money on like just everything <laughs> one of my friends sent in to the group if you spend 27 pounds pounds a day on random stuff you end up spending 10 grand in a year and it made me physically sick because I think I can quite easily do that and because it's always such small things like you go on eBay and Amazon and, and like you go to the shops and you buy like eight pounds worth of snacks and like you buy all these random little bits but then at the end of the day or over a couple of days you do end up spending quite a lot of money and it is probably very unnecessary so I said to Rob like I want to cut down on all that and he was like well why don't you cut down on one of your like on your beauty boxes and I was like well no first of all no one asked for your opinion, no, I'm joking. But I was like, um, no, because it's one thing every month that I really look forward to. Like, I really, truly look forward to doing that. I do love, like, buying skincare and makeup and stuff, but I've found that I don't have to actively go out and search for new brands and do all these things because I get them come to my door every month and I get to try sometimes really bougie stuff that I've never tried before, whether it's in minis or full size sometimes. Very happy with that one. Sometimes... There is the odd occasion, I won't lie, that you get a box and I think, eh, okay. But then the other months totally make up for it and you're still getting a hell of a lot of product for your money that you're spending. Coming up to a year and a half, I've been buying beauty boxes and there was no way you are derailing me off of that train track. I will be on here to the very end, the very last stop. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing today? Today, do you know what to say? I've, I, last night, oh, let me show you actually, I'll get my little book. Last night I picked up my little black book where I put all of my project ideas and I brain dump. Um, I've put my stories on Instagram, if you don't follow me, follow me. Um, on my Instagram I say that I get very anxious and overwhelmed with the thought of like how many projects and just things, endless tasks and lists that float around in my head to the point where I don't actually physically want to start anything because I get so overwhelmed and um, it's just really, it's not productive is it, it's just it puts you right on the back, put everything right on the back burner, it just doesn't help you progress whatsoever. So I was listening to a podcast, I'm going to link it down below, not a, not a podcast, it was a YouTube um, a channel, the guy is called, I can't remember but I'm going to link him down below in the description box because honestly I listened to about 10 of his videos that night. I was able to immediately kind of like use one of his tips which was to mind dump stuff so I have known now for about three four months that I want to do a bathroom makeover an air and cupboard makeover a hallway makeover the third bedroom makeover and I just never start anything and I'm like right tomorrow I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna plan blah 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 and it just never happened so last night I just sat there and I just grabbed my book and that's the first thing you need to do that's the biggest step it's like going to the gym you just have to put your clothes on and get in the car and then you're there then you have the best workout of your life and I had the best little session I'm um, writing all of my ideas down so um I've got the big the bathroom makeover plan coming up so i've got what it looks like now this is just a little bit of inspiration because i want to move the radiator to behind the, the bathroom door because it's just in the most stupid space and i feel like i could use, utilize that wall space a little bit better then i've got ideas to like paint the tiles and stuff like that so i'm really excited for that makeover for you guys as well i'm hoping i'm hoping that you're going to enjoy it then the hallway air and cupboard i feel like everyone can relate if i don't show you in this vlog i will show you in future vlogs what i'm talking about with these ideas but the airing cupboard one is just 
so annoying so we're going to be doing that i'm going to be adding bespoke shelves like brackets to hang air, um, ironing boards and irons and hoovers and hoover um accessories and stuff then the ensuite inspo which is going to be a mini makeover but i think it will really help to marry the whole room with the master bedroom together because that's kind of just been a blank space for a while and then i didn't get around to it because i was already doing this for like half an hour last night but we've got packs of wardrobes in the master bedroom and i want to do like a bespoke fitted kind of situation with another wardrobe wardrobe to make it like feel like it's inbuilt wardrobes which I think some of you guys will probably like the idea of as well kitchen inspiration because that needs a little just a little lick of paint nothing major third bedroom and the hallway the, when I say the hallway the upstairs landing because I still absolutely love our hallway but the upstairs landing needs like a big like in your face situation and then I've got lots of YouTube video ideas so that I can try and be more consistent on YouTube this is um like this is me being a little bit opening up and being a bit vulnerable with you guys here but genuinely like anxiety when it comes to workloads just makes me not want to do anything when I know that I want to deliver two videos to you guys a week because I love your support and you seem to love my videos I then just get in a big panicky rut and I'm just like oh I just can't even do it like where do I even start I'm really sorry that's why I'm so inconsistent it is genuinely because of this stupid imposter syndrome in my head but I'm trying to like be better so me vlogging right now is good because we're making progress <laughs> we're getting new content but sometimes I feel like I've got nothing to say so let me know down below if you mind that I'm not always giving you all the DIY tips and like showing you things and like going from zero to a hundred with projects and makeovers and flips and stuff or if you don't mind sometimes I just sit here and chat to you because there are some times that I can just like have a little chit chat but I don't, I don't know let me know let me know what you think and actually I think I'm going to end the vlog here because I think I've been vlogging for the past three weeks on and off so by this point the vlog's probably very long and in the next vlog I am I'm actually getting a quote to move the radiator this week and hopefully get it moved very soon so the bathroom makeover will be coming very soon so in the next vlog I will be showing you what my plans are with the bathroom makeover the ensuite I'm going to take you through all the rooms that I would like to do some changes and I can get your um ideas on them that would be amazing I'd love to know what your thoughts are about the changes I want to make and then perhaps before I do them you can also input some ideas because you guys give me such good ideas like especially when I've done a makeover then afterwards you're like oh you could have done this and I'm like oh I could have done that it's too late now so that would be really really amazing if you could give me some ideas I would love that so let me know if you want to see that in the comment in the comment section below and I will try to get filming that pretty much as soon as I switch this off later on today I will start showing you what I want to do with the rooms and yeah anyway guys I'm gonna let you go love you so much speak soon and bye Mwah.